Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study two topics from tuples. First is tuple assignment and second is nested tuples. So starting with what is tuple assignment? So as you know that tuple holds multiple values. It is a sequence data type. So you can use tuples to assign values to multiple variables at the same time. Okay, so for example, here we have a tuple which contains two variables, num1 and num2, and you assign to it two values 10 comma 20 inside a tuple so the variables in the tuple will be assigned corresponding values from the tuple on the right hand side okay but you have to be sure that the number of elements present in the tuple on the left hand side is equal to the number of elements that is present uh, that are present on the right hand side of the assignment operator okay so if there are three variables on the left there should be three corresponding values on the right any mismatch in the number of variables and values will generate an error okay so uh, when you execute this particular statement what will happen is that uh, the value 10 will be assigned to num1 and the value 20 will be assigned to num2 okay now what you can also do you can instead of uh, uh, writing on the right hand side the exact tuple whose corresponding values you want to assign you can first declare the tuple okay so you there exists a tuple named record which has three values puja 40 and cs and then you can use this particular uh, tuple name record on the right hand side to assign its elements on uh, its uh, the elements that are present in the record tuple into the corresponding variable names that are present on the left hand side okay so when you execute these two statements what will happen is the value tuple sorry <laughs> the va the variable name will get the value puja the variable role number will get the value 40 and the variable subject will get the string cs which were elements of the record tuple okay and you can print these values and see the result as well okay now one thing as i just told you that if there is any kind of mismatch in the number of variables and the corresponding values then python will show a value error that means uh, there are not enough values to unpack or there are too many values to unpack. So, what does unpack mean? See, whenever you are assigning uh, uh, some value on the right hand side and these values are present in the tuple. So, basically opening up the tuple, taking value one by one and assigning to the variable, corresponding variable on the right hand side is called unpacking okay so when there is a mismatch the python interpreter will throw an error okay so it is not necessary that the error will be thrown only when the variable names are greater than the number of values even if the opposite is true that means there are many values and the number of variables are less in the tuple on the right hand side then also an error will be thrown okay so coming to the next part that uh, you can do the same operation of tuple assignment even with expressions so what will happen in such a case that if you have a tuple on the right hand side of the assignment operator such that the values in the tuple are expressions which will be evaluated then before assigning the values the expression will be completely evaluated its final value will be calculated by the python interpreter and then the final value of this expression will be assigned to the corresponding variables present in the right hand side tuple okay so there are two expressions in this statement that is uh, 10 plus 5 is one expression which will evaluate to 15 and 20 plus 5 is another expression which will ev evaluate to 25. So num3 variable will have the value 15 and num4 variable will have the value 25. So keep in mind that in case there are any expressions on the right hand side of the tuple, sorry on the right hand side tuple then 
those expressions will be first evaluated and the resulting value will be assigned to the variables on the left hand side which are present in the left hand side tuple okay okay now coming to the last part is of nested tuples so as in the case of nested list whenever a tuple is present inside another tuple then the inner tuple is known as the nested tuple okay and the values of the inner tuple or the nested tuple can be accessed using double indexing just as in the case of list so for example we have a tuple st here so it is a tuple because it is starting and ending with round brackets and inside this tuple are five uh, four other tuples so the first element of this tuple st is the tuple containing three values 101 aman and 98 the second element is the second tuple the third element is the third nested tuple and the fourth element is the fourth nested tuple so what will you do when you want to access all the elements that are present inside each of these nested tuples again you will use a for loop as we did in the case of lists so you'll iterate over the outer tuple first first you will specify the index value where the nested tuple is present okay so if you want to access the first tuple that is present inside the outer tuple named st then you will specify the index 0 and if you want to access 101 which is the first element of the first nested tuple then you will specify a second index with the value 0 okay so one index will correspond to the index position of the nested tuple and the second index will specify the uh, location of the element that you want to access in that particular nested tuple so here again uh, this is what we have done in the uh, to print the elements the three elements of each tuple will be printed like this so i will take the values from 0 to 3 because there are four elements in the tuple st so i will go from 0 to length of st which is 4 minus 1 3 so uh, every element of each of the four tuples four nested tuples will be accessed and printed as shown here okay so, uh, when this first line would have been printed, what would have been the values? The value of i would have been 0 because uh, the first nested tuple is present at index 0. And the, uh, then so 0, 0 will give you 101, 0 and 1 index positions will give you aman and 0 and 2 index positions will give you 98 then uh, coming to the second nested tuple which has an index of 1 so 1 0 will give you 102 then 1 1 will give you the value geet and 1 3 sorry 1 2 value will be given uh, the index values 1 2 will give you the value 95 okay so just remember this nested tuples work similar to even exactly like nested lists okay so you don't need to worry just take care of the index values so that's all for today's video i hope you understood the concepts let us know how did you like the video and also if you want to study any particular topics from python or any other computer science subjects thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam